Dudes, Deanbot, the Machine Bot here. Welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. So we finally defeated Godric, and we are here in the next area, the lake area. And I am going to show you all how to get to my training area. Now, this still may take me a hot minute because I actually got to get there. So just ignore all the people I'm hacking and slashing through because they don't really matter. I am going to try to hit up all the Lost Grace sites I find along the way, just so that it makes it easier for me to travel about. <clears throat> this has been the easiest way I have found to get to these training grounds. It is in the underground section. So once you find it, if you can think of a faster and easier way of getting there, by all means, do not, make, uh, do not feel like this is your only way of getting to it. This is just the way I pick. Oh, not good. I just want the item! <laughs> there. Blah. You get your magics away from me. Foul sorcery is afoot. That one's on a horsey! Ah! No free hit for you, or it's out! Alright, I'll rest at this one. <laughs> How rude. Another cookbook. Always nice. Alright, horsey. Yeah. That's a map segment taken care of. Now, if I remember correctly, we want to head northwest from these ruins. Oh, no thanks. Uh, there's a certain cathedral we're looking for out here. And you want to be careful. You want to navigate carefully through all the bad guys out here. They're not particularly dangerous unless you come across rock lobsters. Rock lobsters are kind of murderous. Here we go. And look who else made it out here. <coughs> <laughs> now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. That's right, Patches is back. He doesn't have anything particularly useful except for this. Let's see, do I have anything I could give you for it? I'll sell you these. I can sell you this. I don't want it. The grafted dragon I'll keep a hold of. That thing could come in handy later. And that should give me enough for that. There we go. Cheers, for that. Cheers to you, Patches. Alright, from here... We still want to keep heading northwestward. The central capital right there is basically your midpoint in the lake out here. So you can easily try to use that as like a map marker to try to help find your way around this place. Out of my way! Oh, don't worry, we'll be coming across plenty more of those guys later, and they... 
They actually dish out pipe and hot servings of death dealing. We'll be fighting a lot of red-skinned versions of those things, and they... They put the murder in mass murder when it comes to killing you. I might go in the right way. That's always the question when it comes to this place. Is that it? I think that's it. No. Maybe. Yep, yep, this is the place. Once you arrive here, your job is to talk to this guy. You remember him from the beginning. Called you a virgin. Is a douche. For this one, they didn't seem right. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. If you say so. The fingers but no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you. My invasion multiplayer use festering bloody finger to attempt to invade uh, to attempt to invade the world of another player the multiplayer session will begin once the invasion succeeds you will take the role of an invader bloody finger and your objective is to defeat the host of fingers of that world if you stray far from the host of fingers the compass at the top of the screen points to their location so essentially, you need to talk to him, and he he's going to ask you to invade three other players' worlds. Now, you don't have to actually kill them, and you don't have to succeed in your invasion, but you do still have to invade them nonetheless. The situation can get rather dire, especially if there happens to be three of them and one of you. And, I mean, seeing as how I'm a physically dominant character... My chances of success against an actual player are pretty much non-existent. All it takes is one guy with the right spell or the right set of spells, and, well, I'm pudding before I get anywhere near him. Magic is pretty dope in this game. I mean, I'm just saying. <coughs> but that's how most of my experiences with PvP in this game end up turning, is I just get stomped. Alright, I'm going to grab the map fragment up here, and then there should be a Sight of Grace not far from it, and that is where I will do the Festering Finger. There we go. So right here, is where that temple is. So I'll need to return here once I do this three times. Then we get to do the next step. And the next step, in all honesty, is the absolute worst. Essentially, you have to come here. There is a summoned cre uh, character there, though, that does not like you being there. Go ahead and invade. Now, this can take a few minutes sometimes, because it's actually got a log on, a lock on to the server. It's got to find an actual player you can invade. So this part is going to take you a hot minute. 
In the meantime, there's nothing wrong with us running around and gaining some EXP and runes and such. Good old barricade shield. Barricade shield isn't an, abil uh, an ability that lasts a whole long time, and it's not the greatest ability in the world. But it does help with your blocking. Let's see here. And more often than not, my biggest thing when it comes to invading another player's world, I find them and I just let them kill me as quick as possible. That way I can be done and over with it and I can jump to the next one. There's a lot of you, huh? Well, who's first? Okay. Roly Pulley, the Wonder Tumbler here. Eh. Eh. I think I handled myself pretty well for a four on one scenario. Yeah, I know, they're just crabs. They're not exactly worth a shit ton of points, but every little point helps. Man, we're still attempt uh, attempting an invasion. This one could take a minute. That's how you're going to be, huh? It doesn't particularly matter where you put the mark, I just don't know how far away from it you can actually go. That's something I didn't think about. Ooh, you frosty breath. Nice.
Oh, here we go. <coughs> I was so enthralled in what I was doing, I didn't realize I was about to invade. Yay. Let's see. Defeat Fujiko. Well, let's see how well that goes. Oh, was that him right there? Or is that someone else? That could be a partner of his. Or another invader. But I also know that if you're invading someone else, you have to be careful because there's a chance a uh, hunter could come in. Someone who hunts down invaders. So you can be pretty heavily outnumbered at times. Couple of plants here. Man, in all honesty, I don't really have any intention to fight. I'll stand here and get pummeled. I'm really okay with it. Woohoo! Look how many. Is that three of them? I think there's three of them. Cool. Oh, wow, look at that shield. Do I even stand a chance against these dudes? That guy's in, like, insanely heavy armor. I don't know what that was, but it was awesome. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, I stood no chance there. <laughs> I'm still working out what that jump attack was. That was cool as hell. I mean, that's pretty much my entire gist when it comes to invading other people's worlds. I love seeing what other people have created, what they've done. Because you come across some very unique builds as well. I remember at one point in time I came across a guy who called himself Sonic. And he actually had the ability where he rolled and it was thundery. He wiped out me and all three uh, and my other two guys that were running with me. And I was laughing so damn hard at the fact that he created Sonic the Hedgehog. I couldn't even swing my weapon at him. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't for a lack of trying. It's just that it was so creative and inventive. And I was so impressed that I couldn't even muster up an offensive. Ultimately, it was very much not what I was expecting. Okay, before I get to my invading, invading another world here, we should go back and collect our runes. It's the only... That's one of the biggest downsides that I have when it comes to invading another player's world is you run into the chance of running into someone who's so high-leveled and so well-geared that there's just no chance of survival, but you still have to run all the way over here to recollect your runes. Or you're in a situation like what we saw right there where it's three versus one. Not very good odds. There we go. I've recollected. You really wanted to catch these hands that bad? Was that a tumbleweed? Alright, while we're waiting to invade, how about we try taking on a rock lobster? I mean, am I crazy, but doesn't that look like a rock lobster?
Not what I expected. Alright then, grafted scion. I don't know what you're doing out here. I had assumed I killed all of you at this point. You just keep managing to pop up in strange places. Ow. How dare you hurt Torrent. Torrent. I'm not going to risk you getting hurt. That was crap. That's a different kind of power attack, isn't it? Larval Tear. I wonder what that's used for. Never heard of it before. There are a lot of rock lobsters right here. Come and get me. I don't want to fight you here with the other two. See, now that's just wrong. Okay. It's funny how the other rock lobster wasn't like that. Oh, I got summoned. <coughs> Well, ignore him for now. Oh, hey, he's right there. This will go by quick. Unless he's not the guy. Is he the guy? Or is that the guy? I think that's the guy. Gal. Holy crap. Look at those swords. Wow, that was very fast. Holy hell. <laughs> what I know for sure is I want to know how to get those, right? <laughs> I've never seen those swords with an application of bleed. wonder if the armor she was wearing is what gave her that bleed damage. I don't really know for sure, but yeah, color me impressed. That was awesome. Shouldn't bleed damage have stacked when I blocked? Maybe it did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Either way, though, that's still cool as hell. I mean, I knew it was going to go by really fast. I did not realize why. Could not invade. Failed to join session. That didn't just cost me that finger, did it? Maybe it's because of how far away I traveled. Or is it still active? We'll give it a minute because if it's still active, it should say attempting. Yeah, okay, it is still active.
Is that a balloon? Whoa! So, Ruck Lobsters, as I said, are just sons of bitches. Don't get me wrong, I still don't fully understand why I was able to evade the first Rock Lobster I came across and had zero problems, and now can't seem to help but get skunked by him. I couldn't tell you, but it is what it is. Maybe because the first Rock Lobster was actually just the Scion in disguise. So we got special privilege. Screw you, Rock Lobster. Being a douche. Smithing stone. Lovely. I wonder if it's easier to fight them off horseback than it is on horseback. Nah, probably not. More than weird barnacle looking bad guys. That's a rock lobster. Oh, that's how you're going to be, huh? That's all right. I got more important things to do. Like get myself killed by a player. All right, let's hope this one pops up quick, too. Because, you know, I really don't want to be here. I really don't care for invading because I'm not a big PvP guy. I usually don't bother. Oh, here we go. What's up, dudes? He's got hammers. Where'd he get those? Oh god, is that another one? Or is that a helper? I really don't know what just happened. Wow, you hit hard! Holy crap! <laughs> those are cool. I want to know where he got those hammers. I want those. Like, if I get two of those, I'll totally swap to hammers. I also want to know how he adapted Scarlet Rod onto him. That's pretty beast. 
Okay. Let's wipe this dude out real quick, and then we'll return to that... To the white masked man. Hmm. Off we go then to spot number one. Spot number two is way the heff over that way. Turn to White Mask Man. That was a lot longer trek than I really wanted to take. I should have just used those things right there. Oh, lamb kid. So pleased you're here. <coughs> Lambkin. That you're enjoying my gift. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <coughs> I can't really claim it. You a proper inductee. A knight to serve luminary mode, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary mode has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Very well. with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Well now, we're going to do this a harder way because honestly, I don't really approve of slaughtering maidens. So we'll go find one that's already dead. Once again, we will have to take to the northwest. Now, this part is a colossal pain in the ass. Not necessarily because of anything overly difficult. <coughs> it's just, if you don't play your cards just right, this can take a hot minute. And you could die an absolute lot from it. Alright, we want to head northwest. Up there, I believe, is where we're going. That's a dragon! I don't know how I've never noticed him before. I feel like that should have been at the top of my danger radar when I came through here so many times before. There's someone singing over there. I'll have to investigate that later. For now, let's tag up this side of Grace. Take that, goat. I didn't do that for any particular reason other than to do it. Jeez. 
Jellyfish! Ow. Rude. Not as rude as me randomly attacking you, but rude nonetheless. Jellyfish shield. Alright, back to the task at hand. Hehe. Hehe. Uh oh. This is the punishment I deserve. This is what I get for peeking all sorts of people. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> I mean, I knew it was gonna come back and karma me right in the ass, but I didn't think it would be in the form of, oh hey, there's a guy standing here. Too bad you can't horse through him. Ugh. How am I gonna get my stuff back? That was close. I'm not here for anything yet. I got it! Run! That's a dude on horseback. No thanks! Don't mind me! I missed them both. That's just sad. Okay. Sight of Grace. We have a map fragment right here we can gather, which is always good stuff. There we go. Alright, we gotta keep making our way up this way. Well, we can either make our way up this way... And that'll help us drop down into this area, or we could make our way down here, rummage our way up the hill somewhere around here, and blitz up from there. Really, either way, it's a rough trek, so we're already here, so let's just keep this going. I don't know where you came from, but screw you. With this particular spot, you you have to try not to screw up and press the wrong button to sprint, first and foremost. But you have to double jump across that gap. That's how you get over here. There we go. I'll be back to talk to you later, big guy. He's actually kind of important to a side quest you can do, so... <coughs> oh crap! Forgot all about that. I don't know who, but someone really wants you dead and tries to make it rain magic death on you. be okay.
Oh, check that out. There's something here. Usually I don't bother with this stuff. But in all honesty, he does give out a pretty handy Ash of War. <coughs> the Horfrost Stomp. You can attach the Horfrost Stomp to a lot of different things, actually. Which makes it pretty versatile, as far as an ability goes. Okay, yep, we can go up right here. There's a merchant. Bellum Church. Sight of Grace. And as usual with the church, they have a sacred tear. We'll go ahead and nab that. Alright, let's see. Now, we gotta head kinda north-ish. Got to be careful on our approach here. The enemy has catapults. And they're very accurate with them. Hi, goats. A rune arc. How lovely. There's some fairly tough enemies up here. We just gotta blitz through them. And now we get to the crux of the hard part up here. I don't really know what all this setup entails or what's here. I've never had the opportunity to look yet. But one thing I do know is as you begin to ascend this mountain... You're going to come across a lot of pain in the butt stuff coming from that tower right there. Madness. So you want to wait until whatever that is disappears and then continue blitzing up the mountainside. Because, yeah, when that madness meter fills up, long story short, you die. That's, that's just what happens. You die. So we're going to get off Torrent here, and I'm going to take a hot minute to let that meter run down. Whew. The main objective here is you want to get up there, and you want to kill whoever's in charge of this tower. Fucking rats. There we go. Whew. Next up is the top floor. No, 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 no! That was close. The Howl of Shib uh, Shib Shibiri? Shibiri. I don't know what that is. Oh. 
Cannot tell you how close that was. There, with all of them eliminated, we now no longer have to worry about the madness. Which is nice, because being killed randomly by magic is just not my cup of tea. And then even if you happen to die, you still don't have to worry about it, because it's permanently gone now. Be careful of the locals in this village. They have been driven quite mad by the influence of the spells over yonder. Okay, we want to take this up and around. Now, this part is important because this is the castle, the keep, the church you need to go to in order to acquire the Maiden's Blood, but you are going to be hotly pursued by a badass. This dude will destroy you if you're not careful. And it's not because he's particularly badass, but that spear of his inflicts madness. So not a good thing to be grabbing your own head and like, oh god, why, while you're getting the living stuffing beaten out of you. Like that. My God, really? Whew. So far, so goo. There. I don't know if I can beat him or not, but only one way to find out. Yeah, that's going to be a no. No, I can't beat him. That madness stuff is bogus, dude. It really is. Essentially, you want to counter his standard attacks, be weary of his madness attacks. Which is much easier said than done. Absurdity that he gets to do that. Oof. And of course, his attacks cause madness, which gets you killed. I hate fighting that guy so damn much because madness is just such a bullshit debuff. <coughs> I mean, Bleed is a bullshit debuff as well, but even I don't find it as bad as Madness. Still though, because I touched that side of Grace, I still get the Maiden's Blood. Now let's see if I can get my runes back, and then get the bloody balls out of here. So we need to get back. Meow. Woo! It was worth giving it a try to see if I could take that guy. I'm just not powerful enough to fight him yet. Now, if you could generate some redonkulous Scarlet Rot or bleed damage like some of the guys I was fighting on the PvP setup do... Dude, you get yourself set up with a character that can inflict massive bleed damage real quick, you will cakewalk through this game. Bleed damage is a for real deal sort of thing. And honestly, when I get my level high enough, 
I may just swap over to do to to bleed style weapons and just bleed everything to death. I mean, why not? <clears throat> And since you can equip specific Ashes of War, you can take your bleed weapons and you can literally manipulate them however you want. There we go. Let's have a chat with this guy. Ah, my lambkin. You've completed your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside it. So then you offer him your finger, and you're going to have to endure some pain. your teeth or something and that gives you the new bloody finger oh another thing you should have this and this is the item we came here for the pure blood knight's medal a medal granted by the new Mogwin dynasty with the power to grant audience with luminary mode I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. All right, that's the gist of it. That's all the tasks you have to do. Now, go into your inventory and use it. <laughs> There's one more difficult task to accomplish, and we'll be at the training grounds. Mogwin Palace. We're definitely not going up there yet, because that guy will make absolute paste out of me. So instead, we're going to mount up, and we're going to blitz as fast as we can through here. No, do not worry about the items yet. You will die if you try. Hey, yeah! <laughs> and then you want to go to the blood puddles here. Once you find this blood lake, you know you're going the right direction. You're still going to want to blitz through these guys. Don't fight anybody yet because we still haven't found a sight of grace. And these guys can kill you very easily. Suck it! As you can see, they take practically no damage from me at this point, and they dish out some pretty heavy hits. <coughs> That's the side of grace we want. As you can see, we do practically no damage to these guys. Now, different setups, different ways of doing things, all of this can contribute and attribute to how well you train in this battleground. Essentially, once you get here, this is where it all comes down. You slaughter everything in this area, and as you see that archer doing, you shoot that bird over there, and you will manage to kill everything in this area. And this is what applies to your hunting ground. This is where I will train. I will fight relentlessly in this place to gain the EXP I need in order to advance through the game. So this is as far as we're going to go for now, which works out since that's the end of the episode. I will be returning to this game once I get to a level I think is high enough in order for me to become the Elden Lord. So, for now, thank you all so much for watching Elden Ring. I hope you are enjoying what you're seeing so far. 
and I hope you will continue to join me as my quest and adventure continues through my quest to become the Elden Lord. If you're liking what you're seeing so far, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to that channel, and we will return to Elden Ring shortly. I'll catch you later, meatbags. He's dead!